Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've come out to the uh, inlet here in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, that's the inlet right behind me. It's the waterway that connects our intercoastal waterway out to behind me here, the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the boats come in and out to access uh, the ocean through here. Uh, it's pretty treacherous. If, let me swing around here. You can see how fast that water is moving and just how rough it can get. I'm gonna try to shoot some long exposures with my 15 stop ND filter. Uh, hopefully we get some clouds uh, that kind of push in and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get today. Alright, so I'm all set up with my shot here. Um, I don't have the filter on yet, so the first thing you want to do is take your exposure without the filter get the speed that would be properly exposed without the filter um, and after i do that i'm gonna get everything my composition right my exposure right and then i'm gonna put the filter on and then i'm gonna use an app to calculate what the new exposure is with the filter on so right now i'm at f13 and one four hundredth of a second so now i'm gonna take out my app and I'm gonna, or I'm gonna put the filter on first, and then I'm gonna take out my app and calculate the new exposure time with the 15 stop ND filter on it. All right guys, so I'm gonna put on my 15 stop neutral density filter. This one's made by Breakthrough Photography. Uh, it's really the only filter company that I use. Um, it's the best one that I found as far as circular uh, filters go. Um, it doesn't give off any kind of color cast at all, which a lot of the other ones do, especially the cheaper models. Uh, these are overly expensive. Um, this one is about $179 US, so, uh, but I've had great results with it so far. And uh, anyway, I'm going to put this on the camera now, or on the lens, and uh, we've got some clouds moving in here, which is perfect. I'm going to take the app out and calculate the new exposure time. Alright, so my, I don't know, even know if you can see this, but uh, my exposure time without the lens is about one, or, uh, one five hundredth of a second. Uh, with the 15 stop ND filter on, that gives me about a one minute exposure. Uh, so I'm going to give that a shot. There's always some experimentation with this, so I'm going to start out at that one minute time and see what happens with that. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. Um, after looking at some of the footage that I took yesterday, I've decided to come back to the same beach and redo a little bit of it. So, uh, the footage was pretty cool, but some of the uh, tips that I was giving seemed kind of hard to follow, uh, probably for a couple of reasons. Um, I was at the end of that jetty and the waves were uh, crashing around me and the high tide was coming in. Uh, it just made it a little bit distracting and I don't think I was clear on some of the things that I was telling you. And also I had a bunch of people start walking up uh, into the location that I was at and I'm really not comfortable vlogging when there's people around. Not yet anyway. Uh, something I need to work on but yeah I'm just not comfortable when people are near. So I've come back down to the same beach. I'm going to try to clarify some of those things that I was saying yesterday. Uh, hopefully I didn't confuse anybody with it but I think after uh, today uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more clear. So uh, let's get out of the car here and go back down to the beach and see what we can get. We got some storms building up again, so maybe some real ominous, uh, moody clouds. So um, looking forward to getting out there and seeing what kind of photos we can get today. Wow, check out all this seaweed. I have never seen it this bad before. That's insane and kind of gross. Um, but actually, I'm going to use it as a little bit of a leading line as I take the photo down the beach. So uh, maybe it'll work out in, uh, in my favor. It's still gross, though. All right, so the first step, and probably the most important, is to have a steady tripod. Um, you're going to be doing exposures anywhere from one minute to five minutes or more. 
even in the daylight and you got to minimize any kind of camera shake your ca any any movement of your camera is gonna ruin your picture so step one sturdy tripod all right and the next step would be to get your composition right um, mine's is pretty basic right here um, I have these buildings uh, uh, to my right in uh, kind of framing the right side of the photo with that seaweed doing uh, kind of uh, making for a leading line down the beach and then hopefully the long exposure will turn this heavy surf into just like a sea of white like almost like snow hopefully so um, yeah pretty basic composition but that's what I have to work with today all right so the last thing you want to do before you put the filter on is properly expose your photo without the filter on that's going to determine what your exposure time is once you get the filter on the on the lens so right now I'm at an f11 ISO 100 and 1 1 60th of a second all right now using the app that I showed you yesterday for a properly exposed photo that 1 1 60th of a second with a 15 stop neutral density filter it's going to be about a three three and a half minute exposure so i'm gonna start out at three and see how that goes like i said there's a little bit of experimentation with this so i'm gonna start out with three and see how that goes uh maybe a bit, a little bit more a bit less but let's see how, how it comes out okay so the final step before actually taking the shot is i put the neutral density filter on and i i put my camera into bulb mode and I'm gonna, to trigger it, I'm gonna use the Sony uh, shutter release or remote control. You can use anything uh, like an intervalometer or some kind of generic shutter release button. And I, I've also put a two second timer on my, on my camera. That way it minimizes kind of any kind of shake uh, before actually taking the shot. Also, once I take the shot, I'm gonna stand in front of my camera or to the side and block the wind. We have a strong wind coming in from the ocean. Again, the, the wind is your enemy with long exposures. So I'm gonna do whatever I can do to, to minimize any kind of camera shake. So I guess the one drawback about shooting with 15 stop ND filter is that I've readjusted my camera into to portrait mode. And anytime that you readjust your shot, you have to take the that filter off because you have to readjust your focal point. And the, like I said, the camera just, the lens cannot see through the ND filter because it's so dark. So you have to take it off, readjust your focal point put it back on and do the whole process over again. So that's the one drawback, but uh, I love the results that it gets. High tide's starting to come in again. So uh, yeah, you can see the water coming up around me, threatening to cut me off. So I'm gonna finish up this shot and uh, I'm gonna get out of here for the day. Oh, uh, here comes the seaweed, gross. If you're joining my channel for the very first time today, I want to thank you very much for uh, watching along. Uh, hopefully you got some value out of that. And if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments on the uh, photos and the video. I try to release a new video every Monday morning uh, around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. So be on the lookout for that. Um, until next week, thanks for joining in. Stay safe. Wear your mask, which I'm getting ready to put back on. Take care of each other and have a great week, guys. Thank you very much.